Now, let's have a look at using this on the iPad. We've done the Mac and we've done the PC, so let's do the iPad. Why not? We've got all three in that case. So let's just get the ball rolling by placing our image to start with. And we'll, we'll bring this in from over there where I've got some photos. It's the same image on Apple Photos. Just takes a moment to load. And there it is there. And we'll just drag it over to there. No, you don't need to, of course. Just place it there and drag it out the size. There we go. Just move it there. Now, tap the pencil anywhere. I'm using an Apple Pencil. It's an iPad Mini 6. And this is really neat stuff. So now that we've got that there, we want to place, shall we call it a mask? And in this case, I want to put a rounded rectangle and it's white color. I want to put a rounded rectangle right over there. But I want to punch a circle through that so I can see the flower behind it. Just think of that as any shape you like. It could be any of those shapes. Let's go to the Move tool and tap anywhere so it deselects that. Now I want to put a circle in there, so let's make the circle a different colour. I've just tapped, well, randomly purple there. Let's go get our circle. Or an ellipse. Why do people call them ellipses, I wonder, when they're act Well, they're not circles unless you make it a circle, is it? Now let's take the Move tool. We've got snapping is on up there, the little magnet up in the top corner. There we go, that's dead center in the in the um, rounded rectangle. We'll tap anywhere and we'll go to the select that one and swipe to the left slightly and add that selection. Now the circle is on top of the rounded rectangle. So that means the circle, when we do the geometry, and subtract the circle, it will go right through and expose the flower. Isn't that marvellous? Look at that. You can put that anywhere you like. You can put it over any of the flowers. You might have text behind that. You might have somebody's lovely face behind that. You might even want to reduce the opacity of that a little bit so that the other flowers just kind of show through there, but you're highlighting that one there. Let's see if we can do that by reducing the opacity. Can you see how that works? There we go. We've made this one slightly different than the PC or the Mac, but it's the same principle. Now, we haven't got anything there selected, so what we're going to do now is put in a blue rectangle. There we go. Just the same as the Mac and the PC, there's our blue rectangle. Go to the Move tool and tap anywhere, it's the quickest way to deselect that. Um, and there's our rectangle. Now we, I want to put that rounded rectangle, if I can get hold of it there, but I want to make it white. Mm, no, of course it's going to be overlapping. Let's make it red. Let's be bold here, or even better. Let's make it black. This is really impressive. Whoa, strong colors. Might be a little bit wide there, so we'll reduce that. Because what I want to do is, there you go, it's, you can see the green line there. That means it's centered on the red line and directly in line with the edge of the blue rectangle. And you think, okay, let's deselect that because now what I want to do is put a white circle in the middle of it. You can see how easily this bowls along. Just touch the ellipse. Of course, this can be any shape you like that you're punching out there. But what we've got to do is select that layer as well and go to, where am I? The Move tool. Go to Geometry and Subtract. Now you can see the blue rectangle through the black rounded corner rectangle. When the Move tool is there, let's move that up there. That's, that's halfway and halfway. Look at that.
Now, of course, you can you can select that and you can move that anywhere you like. You can put it there if you like. Now, there you go. That's how you punch holes in shapes for exposing parts of an image or highlighting or drawing attention to something. And you can make it just about any shape you like. Any, certainly any of the shapes in there. You could draw your own shape and put it on there and have a free form selection punched out of there. Too easy. Go ahead. Make my day. Subscribe.